What's up guys and welcome back with some more Limbus Company and today we are here with some big news for Season 3 Bon Voyage and we have a whole guide on it here that we're going to be checking out. So I'm excited for Season 3. I mean, you've got freaking Ishmael nervous as hell having that freaking Moby Dick PTSD and we got a little preview into Season 3 um, in Chapter 5 in Tokyo Game Show. We saw them fighting on the ship, fighting all these crazy like mutated sea creatures and stuff and it looks really good. And then of course we got the infamous low tier god um, Ishmael Ego. <laughs> <laughs> which I can't wait to actually get to. So this is looking like a really good season, and we're going to check out each of these new things over here. So it says, Guide on Season 3, Bon Voyage. So it says it will commence on November 16th at 12 p.m. Korean Standard Time, or whatever that would stand for there, right? Okay, so, okay, November 16th, all right. In exactly a month, all right, nice. So the content is the Ego Shard carryover, gradual main story, and battle pass update updates. It, uh, identity level cap increase, excavation content changes, season 3 extraction, season 3 dispenser, dispenser purchasable, purchasable ego and announcers from past season passes, new packages added and package adjustments, and mirror dungeon 3 preview. Oh boy, yeah, I can't wait to be freaking traumatized by that. That's gonna be great. Okay, so let's see here. So first up, you have Season 2 Ego Shard Carryover. So guide on season changes Ego Shards. When a new season begins, yes, half of the previous season's Ego Shards will be carried over and rounded up, as they've done before. The carryover rates for unconverted Ego Shards from multiple past seasons, or seasons past, will be halved for each following season. The remaining Ego Shards will be converted into Thread. Yep, and then Ego Shard crates, both random and nominable, um, will be carried over in the same way. Okay, so it's like the same thing that they did before. It's, it's the carryover season thing. We, we know about that. Now, this is different information for me. Gradual main story and battle pass updates. So chapter 5 of the main story season 3 pass will be updated in three parts, which they did three parts for chapter 4, correct? Um, so the first one is on the 16th, okay? And the battle pass will be split up also like how they did it before. The second part is on the 23rd of November is the 23rd Thanksgiving it might be Thanksgiving so okay so the 16th the 23rd and then the 30th so you get all parts in one month um you get one part a week all right and then that will be good okay 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 so accumulated past levels are tracked regardless of gradual updates when the subsequent updates unlock, from the reward, unlock the rewards for higher levels, you can immediately claim them up to your tracked pass level. Okay, max pass levels earned for leveling up. The pass past. And the pass pass. That, like, that just messes with my brain. Uh, max pass level. Oh my god. Are also, yes, uh, kept track of even when they aren't unlocked. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. In chapter 5, stage progression rewards and max pass level rewards will become available to claim on November 30th update when part three is added okay cool all right so now we have the level cap increasing we're going from level 35 to level 40 nice so make sure y'all have your tickets ready to go get your characters up asap out here boys because we are going to need it all right all right all right i mean i figured as much each time a new chapter comes out they're going to increase the level cap enemies are going to get stronger so you got to make sure you're good that does make sense so then they're probably gonna have what another another tier right level boost ticket raises an identity okay yeah 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 yeah. i see so they're gonna have a new a new leveling ticket okay nice uh okay so xp luxcavation number four. Oh, and thread luxcavation number three added okay so we're getting another one of these now oh okay so now you got you got another one that's probably gonna give more rewards more difficult right Okay, 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 so that's interesting. And it says level selection golden apple. Why? <laughs> Why? Can, can we not with this golden apple crap? Like, I'm sick and tired. I don't want to think about apples when I freaking play Limbus. Each time I think about apples, it's not the same anymore, bro. The bad thoughts start occurring in the brain, man. So the image above is for demonstration purposes only and is subject to change before the official release with the season 3 update X, yeah, XP Luxivation 4 and threat. Yes, so they're going to be added. Okay, that's cool. Makes sense. That also is good. 
and then season three extractions um okay so this new season's identities and ego will be added to the list of extractable items identities from previous seasons remain in the pool and are are and are obtainable via extractions except event identities and egos so yeah all right so season two event identities and ego okay, all of this is going to be removed yep and then it will be back what next season right that's how that stuff works so it's the same thing as before and then Season 3, Dispenser. Identities and Ego from the new season will be available at the Dispenser. You'll be able to exchange for identities and Ego from past seasons. Battle passes. Please note that the extraction IDs belonging to the uh, to the season immediately before the new season will be inaccessible for the Dispenser. So, as shown in the image above, the following identities and Egos will be removed from the Dispense catalog at the start of Season 3. So, yeah. You see all this? All of the Season 2 stuff right there. Which, there's a lot of good stuff in there, so make sure you get it. Um, season 3 Dispenser. Um, also, the following identities will be added to the catalog. So, all of these egos and stuff. Sun Shower Yi Sang is crazy. If you don't have it, get it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that much. It is very good. And then, you see... All of the season one stuff, which you know, Foss two grips, very good. I'm sick of End Corp freaking Mirror Salt. I, I enjoy Rhino more. I was stuck with that being my only other freaking Mirror Salt freaking identity for the longest, the End Corp one. So, and yeah, one who show grip Sinclair. We all know how Anga he is. He's crazy good. Also, so that is good. I heard L Corp Faust is good too. That's what I've heard from people. So there is there is also that out there. All right, so then, dispensable, okay, dispenser, purchase, pur purchasable, can I read? Um, ego and announcers from past season passes. So, as we look over here, ego and battle announcers from the previous season passes are now purchasable at the dispenser with paid lunacy. Oh, so if you miss um, a battle pass or somehow you just don't make it through it, um, you'll be able to buy that stuff, the announcers and stuff, but you do have to use money. It has to be specifically paid lunacy, not just normal lunacy. So they're only the ones that you actually put money or a real life money into. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I guess that's, I mean, that's cool for new players that, um, aren't, like, but like, obviously weren't able to get the stuff because they weren't playing the game. So that's cool. And the egos too. I mean, that way you really don't miss out. So it's like, hey, if you really want this ego that bad, um, and you're newer or you missed it for some reason, you gotta pay that real money though. But hey, at least they give you an option. It's better than them not letting you get the stuff at all, right? So that's that's a that's a solid option. And then we have new packages added and package adjustments. This update will add three new packages and adjust one of the existing packages. Previous monthly training packs contained various currencies such as lunacy or extraction tickets, but newly added packages contain items more focused on powering up your identities and ego. Oh, and you know why they're doing this, right? Because leveling up your character and your egos has gotten a lot more expensive trying to uptie them and you have to uptie your freaking ego up all the way or whatever, all this crap, right? So the stuff is pretty expensive at this point. I am not going to deny that. So they are giving you the option now for, hey, we don't only have the freaking lunacy uh, stuff or the pull tickets. We're going to give you the level up packs, which I've seen them do in other gacha games like Ark Knights and stuff where they have packages like that um, that will help you level up your characters. So yeah, it makes sense because, good lord, this is expensive out here. I get why they do it, but damn, you really got to think before you level up one of these characters, bro. So yeah, you got the monthly uh, pack, you got the weekly, and okay, you got the monthly XP pack, the weekly XP pack, and the monthly thread pack. And packages to be adjusted will be weekly thread pack. So there you go. If you want to spend money in there, get your characters up quicker, you have an option if you need to do that. And then last but not least, and the thing that I'm most looking forward to, next to, like, the, okay, the second thing that I'm most looking forward to, because the most is obviously the main story, would be Mirror Dungeon 3. My first run in Mirror Dungeon 2 put me through the gulag. I went through pain. Hell itself, it sucked. Oh my god, I was suffering in that. There, with that freaking statue. Ding! 
ding, I'm just there, just like, oh my god, I've been here like six hours. I just want this to be over. Yeah, screw that freaking Mirror Dungeon 2 first run. Can't believe they put me to that. Um, yeah, I gotta make sure I'm ready for Mirror Dungeon 3. I gotta uptie all these freaking characters, get their egos up. I am not trying to get bodied, so I need to do that most definitely. So, Mirror Dungeon 3 will be added during Season 3. With the Mirror Dungeon 3 update, all Mirror Dungeons will be combined into one. Huh. They're gonna all be combined into one? So what happens with the freaking buffs and stuff I got in the other Mirror Dungeon? With that, the Mirror Dungeon of the beginning and the Mirror Dungeon- The Mirror of Mirrors will no longer be accessible. Damn, they're combining everything? The combined Mirror Dungeon will be classified uh, by difficulties, such by uh, normal or hard, okay? Yeah, I, I, hard mode's gonna put me through the freaking ringer, dude. Season pass XP rewards will be partially adjusted in this process. We will inform your further notice with a further notice dedicated to Mirror Dungeon 3 in the future. Also, when I was talking about my first Mirror Dungeon 2 run, I was, yeah, I was talking about the freaking hard mode or whatever. That freaking hard mode was hell. I was in the gulag. Straight up in the gulag. Um, okay. So let's see here. Yeah, Mirror Dungeon... Uh, let's see. Three starter buffs will be much more varied compared to season uh, to the second dungeon. Okay, so we're gonna have more options. That's always good. Learning from you know the past and just giving us better upgrades. I'm with it. An option to turn certain starter buff effects on and off will be added. Okay. With every new season, the mirror dungeon will be renewed to fit the themes of the new season. The starter buffs will also be renewed with the last season starter buffs expiring. And the new season starter buffs being introduced to be filled out again. Ah, I see. So there will always be new buffs and stuff. So the old ones will be done and then the new one will be in there. And please understand that the starlight accumulated from Mirror Dungeon 2 cannot be used for 3. So it's useless. So any starlight that you have, you're not going to be able to use it in a third one. It is literally invalid, useless, it's cooked. Okay. Um, this is a lot of interesting information. I'm going to go through it again super quickly and give my thoughts on each thing for you, okay? So, Ego Shard thing, that's the normal thing, yada yada yada. I'm very excited for the main story, that's going to be really fun. I will stream each part, I should stream it on the day of or the day after, okay guys? Just the same way that we did for Chapter 4, we'll do it for Chapter 5. I will be there as quick as I can for you guys with that content. Y'all already know, we're there. Um, level increase makes sense. Better get ready for that. Lux Gavation stuff, uh, Thread stuff. It's cool that they added more options in there. Um, this is the same stuff as usual, right? Yada, yada, yada. Same stuff as usual, basically. Um, this is a really cool feature. That I'm happy they added this in for new players and people that missed content. You could buy this stuff with real money since you weren't able to complete the Battle Pass or even get the Battle Pass. Um, then, you got this over here. Um, very good also, so if you're falling behind in the game and you really want to get some of the harder content done but your units are weaker, um, guess what? You could upgrade your IDs, um, just pay some money out here, you could get the monthly, weekly, or, uh, yeah, the monthly or weekly packages for Thread and XP, so that's solid also. And then Mirror Dungeon 3, I know it's going to be really difficult, I need to make sure I am ready this time. I have to be extremely ready this time. Because if not, I am screwed, so you better bet your ass I'm going to make sure that I'm having my IDs and lower identity IDs upgraded and ready to go for this. Have to have them ready. So this should be good. So I'm excited for the future of Limbus Company. It looks like we got some cool stuff going on within the game. Um, like I said, I will be there for the new update. We will play Chapter 5, Season 3. And I heard they have some type of other event going on in the game that's going to be coming. Um, that's going to be like a seasonal thing, like, so I'll have to check that out too and see some more specifics on that. But please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you have any expectations? Is there, is there anything you're hoping that they will change within the game? Or are you happy with all the changes that they showed here? I am very curious. Because overall, I'm happy with these decisions here. I think these are some really good decisions that were made. So, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, let me know your thoughts, stay safe. You could join the Discord server in the description box below of this video. We have a Limbus Company channel there and Library Ruina channel, which I need to stream that again. We gotta get back to that. It's just
just been so much stuff going on. Been a mixture of me feeling tired under the weather, then me doing this and that. I have a lot of obligations for different stuff that's going on within the channel. So just stay tuned. I will continue Ruina. Okay, I got y'all. But until the next one, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe. And as I always do say, don't do crack. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.